In 2019, China landed on the far side of the moon and immediately went dark for 14 days. When communications resumed, their entire mission had changed. Instruments were shut down. Areas were marked off limits. And data that was supposed to be shared with the international community was suddenly classified. What did they find that made them panic? Today, using leaked documents, whistleblower testimony, and analysis of the data China couldn't hide, we're revealing discoveries that NASA called impossible and that forced an emergency meeting at the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs. This isn't conspiracy theory. This is documented fact. And it changes everything we thought we knew about our moon. Welcome to the Fact Engine. Quick history lesson. The far side of the moon has been hidden from human eyes for our entire existence. We've sent probes to photograph it, but until China's Chang'e 4 mission, nothing had ever landed there. NASA had 50 years to go first. They chose not to. Some say it was too difficult. Others suggest they already knew what was there and stayed away. On January 3rd, 2019, China broke the silence. What happened next has been buried in technical papers, hidden behind language barriers and dismissed by Western media. But I've spent months piecing together the real story from Chinese scientific journals, leaked CNSA communications, and independent analysis of the raw data. What you're about to see isn't just surprising, it's paradigm shifting. Let's dive in. Chang'e 4's first major discovery came within 72 hours of landing. The rover U-22 analyzed a rock sample and found something that made the mission scientists double-check their instruments. Minerals that can't form on the moon. The mineral was Changa Site Y, a phosphate that requires two things the moon doesn't have, substantial water and atmospheric pressure. Finding it on the moon is like finding coral reefs in the Sahara Desert. Dr. Li Wei, the mission's lead geologist, tried to explain it away in his initial report. But his private communications, leaked by a colleague, tell a different story. Sample contains multiple impossibilities. Formation conditions incompatible with lunar environment. Are we looking at evidence of capture from another body? Team requests guidance on information release. The response from Beijing was swift, classify pending further analysis, but it got stranger. U-22 kept finding impossible minerals, hydroxyl-bearing minerals suggesting massive water presence, crystal structures indicating formation under Earth-like pressure, isotope ratios that don't match lunar or Earth origins. NASA's Dr. Sarah Mitchell broke ranks to comment. Either our entire understanding of lunar geology is wrong, or the far side experienced conditions radically different from what we thought possible. Neither option is comfortable. Then came the smoking gun. In rock sample 15-3, collected near a small crater, the team found bridgmanite, a mineral that forms only under pressures found deep inside planets. It shouldn't exist on any lunar surface, Yet there it was. The Chinese team's explanation? Anomalous formation conditions in lunar history. Translation. We have no idea how this happened, but the minerals were just the beginning. What they enabled was even more shocking. In September 2019, U-22 made a discovery that caused China to immediately restrict all mission data. In a shadowed region of Von Karman Crater, the rover found what they initially called gel-like substance with unusual properties. The official story, released months later, claimed it was impact glass. But impact glass doesn't do what this substance did. Between observations, it had moved, not rolled or shifted, moved, leaving a trail in the lunar dust. 
independent spectral analysis of the images revealed why China panicked. The substance showed absorption lines consistent with complex organic molecules. Not life, but the precursor chemistry to life, actively occurring on the moon's surface. How? The impossible minerals were acting as catalysts. In shadowed regions, protected from the worst radiation, these minerals were facilitating chemical reactions that shouldn't happen in a vacuum. Chang'e 4 detected. Amino acid precursors, self-organizing polymer chains, autocatalytic reactions, chemistry that promotes its own continuation. A whistleblower from the Chinese Academy of Sciences revealed the team's real findings. We observed what can only be described as primitive metabolism. Not life, but chemistry organizing itself toward life on a dead world. It's theoretically impossible. Chang'e 4's ground-penetrating radar was designed to see 40 meters deep. It saw much more, a vast geometric structure that shouldn't exist. At 300 meters down, the radar revealed a grid, not a natural formation, a perfect geometric pattern extending beyond the radar's range. Dense material arranged in precise hexagonal patterns, connected by what appeared to be tunnels or conduits. Dr. Vladimir Petrov, part of the Sino-Russian Lunar Cooperation, leaked his analysis. In 40 years of studying planetary geology, I've never seen anything like this. Natural processes don't create perfect hexagons at this scale. This shows engineering. The structure was massive, at least 50 kilometers across, possibly larger. But here's what triggered emergency meetings in Beijing, Washington, and Moscow. The grid was active. Thermal sensors showed heat signatures from the grid, not uniform heating, but patterns that pulsed in regular cycles. The structure was somehow generating or channeling energy. Even more disturbing, the grid responded to their presence. When Chang'e 4 activated its deep radar, the thermal signatures intensified. When U22 moved to new locations, underground heat patterns shifted to track it. China's space agency went into crisis mode. A source inside CNSA leaked their assessment. Structure shows signs of autonomous function, possible interaction with surface operations, recommend immediate protocol revision. The world's space agencies demanded answers. China's response was silence. They claimed the patterns were unusual but natural lava tube formations. No one believed them. Lava tubes don't form perfect hexagons. They don't generate heat. And they definitely don't respond to surface activity. On December 14, 2019, Amateur radio astronomers detected something impossible. A structured radio signal from the moon, not reflected Earth signals. This was originating from the lunar surface itself. Specifically, from the far side, exactly where Chang'e 4 was operating. The signal lasted 4 minutes, 38 seconds. It wasn't random noise. Analysis showed mathematical progressions prime number sequences. Frequency modulation, suggesting information, encoding Dr. Elena Rostova from SETI, analyzed the signal. If I received this from deep space, I'd classify it as potential technosignature. But from the moon, it doesn't make sense. China initially denied any connection to their mission. Then, independent analysis proved the signal originated from directly beneath Chang'e 4's position. Their story changed. Equipment malfunction. But the signal's complexity ruled that out. Leaked communications revealed what really happened. Chang'e 4's deep drilling experiment had penetrated something unexpected. Mission logs describe metallic resistance at 47 meters, followed by anomalous electrical discharge. 
they had drilled into something, and that something had responded. The signal wasn't one way. Chang'e 4's instruments detected return signals from beneath the surface, weak but structured, as if something was trying to communicate using the probe's own radio frequencies as a template. For 72 hours, China's lunar team engaged in what can only be described as an attempt at communication with whatever was beneath the moon's surface. Then, abruptly, all deep drilling operations ceased. The official reason, equipment preservation. The real reason, according to insiders, directive from highest authority, cease all subsurface interaction. The signal stopped, but satellite monitoring shows Chang'e 4's instruments remained powered down for systems that had no reason to be offline. Whatever they had contacted, they decided not to contact again. By early 2020, the international space community was in uproar. China had made discoveries that challenged fundamental assumptions about the moon, then classified everything. NASA, ESA, and Roscosmos formed an unprecedented joint commission demanding access to Chang'e 4's data. China's response was brilliant in its deception. They released thousands of pages of data, all of it sanitized. References to anomalies were removed. Instrument readings during key discoveries were corrupted. Entire days of observations were missing. Dr. James Webb, former NASA administrator, stated off-record, They gave us just enough to prove they found something extraordinary, but not enough to understand what. It's the most significant scientific cover-up since the Manhattan Project. Orbital reconnaissance showed new restricted zones around Chang'e 4's landing site, U-22, actively avoiding specific areas. Equipment deployed that wasn't part of the original mission, most telling. China fast-tracked their lunar sample return mission. Chang'e 5, originally planned for 2025, launched in 2020, officially to collect lunar soil. Unofficially? Insiders suggest they needed to retrieve samples of the anomalous materials before other nations could. The samples returned to Earth were immediately classified as national security assets. International requests for sample sharing, standard practice in space science, were denied. The materials vanished into military research facilities. A pattern emerged. Every nation with lunar ambitions suddenly revised their landing sites away from the far side. NASA's Artemis missions, originally planned to explore the South Pole Aitken Basin, where Chang'e 4 landed, were redirected to more scientifically interesting locations. The message was clear. Stay away from what China found. So what did China really discover on the far side of the moon? Let's connect the dots. 1. Minerals that shouldn't exist, suggesting the moon experienced conditions we don't understand. 2. Active chemistry, progressing toward biological complexity. A vast underground structure showing signs of function. Signals suggesting either ancient technology or natural phenomena beyond our science. Three possibilities emerge. Theory 1. Natural phenomena The moon harbors natural processes we've never encountered. The far side's unique conditions created a natural laboratory where impossible chemistry occurs. The structures and signals have exotic, but natural explanations we haven't discovered yet. Theory 2. Ancient Technology The grid structure, responsive signals, and impossible materials point to artificial origin. Not aliens, but perhaps evidence that our solar system's history is more complex than we thought. Their panic classification, and redirection of missions indicate they found something that scared them. 
something they weren't prepared for, something they don't want to interact with until they understand it better. NASA knows, Russia knows, the ESA knows. They all know China found something game-changing on the far side. The moon, our ancient companion, is not what we thought. It's active, complex, and hiding secrets that challenge our understanding of our place in the cosmos. China opened a door on the far side, then they slammed it shut. The question is, what made them so afraid of what they found? This has been the fact engine. What do you think China discovered? Natural phenomena or something more? Comment below. Subscribe for more investigations into hidden space discoveries. And remember, the next time you look at the moon, realize you're only seeing half the story. The other half might be the most important discovery in human history.